Hi, I'm Tessa, here at John Ball Zoo, an area curator, and I'm going to talk to you today about our amazing animal, the South American tapir. There's four species of tapir. The South American tapir obviously is from South, South and Central America, and he is actually very closely related to a rhinoceros or a horse. So he looks a little different. When people come up to see him, they don't really know what he is. He has a very long snout, not quite as long as the trunk of an elephant, but he does use it just like we would use a hand. He can actually pick stuff up with it, and he has a really good sense of smell. He actually walks around the exhibit smelling for different types of plants and all the people that walk by. So you may see him with his nose up in the air, um, waving it around, and he may smell you as you walk by. Tapers have all sorts of odd adaptations that help them live their life. We talked about his nose, but he actually is what's called an odd-toed ungulate. So his feet are very specialized for the environment that he lives in. He has four toes in the front and three toes on his back feet. They're very wide, sprawling, and soft. It helps him actually make very small little trails through their environment to get to all sorts of different plants. They're super important for their native lands because they're actually seed dispersals. They eat all sorts of plants and they come out the other side, making a nice fertile space for those plants to grow. So our taper's name is Sledge. He's been with us since he was five years old and he just turned 18 this year. He shares his exhibit space with many different species and we've actually are doing introductions this year with uh, different, different species such as capybaras, giant ant eaters, and he already cohabitates really well with our South American screamer, which is a bird. In the wild, tapers eat all sorts of different plants. Here at John Ball Zoo, they get actually a formulated diet. They get a grain that includes all of their nutrients and vitamins that they need, but they also get hay, Things like sweet potato and carrots, root, different root vegetables, as well as fruits. And then we give them browse, which are different leaf materials that we actually, our horticulture department will cut down and he gets something fresh every single day. If you see him on exhibit, he usually has a pile of hay, which he loves to eat, and some good snacks such as apples. When he's eating the browse, you'll be able to see him use that proboscis, that big giant nose that comes off of his face, um, to pull the leaves off, as well as they have extremely strong jaws. They can chew through twigs and chew off leaves with no problem. 